Right guys, today we are already inside Villa Park. We've got about an hour till kickoff today. We are here on a Wednesday night. We are back under the lights at Villa Park for Aston Villa versus Wolves. It's the derby that's not a derby, isn't it? Every Villa fan, every Wolves fan kind of says this isn't really a derby, um, but until we play them and then whoever wins always claims it is a derby, so we're here. Sorry. What? What's going to happen tonight? I don't really know. Wolves, to be honest, this season have just been pretty crap. I think they're sitting 19th in the table. I think they're, what, uh, only won three games all season. We've won just as many games as Wolves has under Unai Emery than Wolves have all season. I mean, I know I'm a Villa fan, but in general, Wolves are just a bit of a boring club. Like, they've got no players that, like, f properly stand out for me. Their, their stadium's boring, their away end's boring, their fans are pretty mid. So, in general, for me, I don't know if it's a derby, but I just see them as a pretty dead club. It's a bit hard. We are on amazing form at the minute. We just beat Tottenham 2 0 away. Unreal away day that was. Well, my video actually got took down for copyright, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out, please, and give it a like. Douglas Luiz! Yeah! 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 Unreal away day, and um, I think that we definitely deserve the win. And under Unai Emery, we've played really, really well. Under Unai Emery, we've beat um, Man United, Brighton, and Tottenham. So against Wolves today, we really should be winning. And our next run of games are like Wolves, Southampton, Leeds. So that should be an easy nine points. Like I say, Wolves have been pretty crap, but it is Derby day, so anything can happen. Let's hope for a win. I'm going to say 3 1 Villa. And also, we did bottle it last time we played Wolves at Villa Park. Come on, the Villa. Let's hope for a good atmosphere under the lights. Come on. So take close. Get the badge in, Bosch. Bosch! Andy Martinez got his World Cup return to Villa Park. Have that! Oh, Andy Martinez! A few minutes till kick off. Very different video tonight. No interviews. But everyone's very confident, which scares me a little bit. But we're going to win tonight. Come on, the Villa. A few minutes till kick off. Come on. Say it everything. Here we go, kick off at Villa Park. The atmosphere is really good tonight. Can we get a result? Off our win back at Tottenham. Come on, the Villa. One more down. I mean, we're only 10 minutes in, but to be fair, Wolves have deserved it. They're the only team that's really had a counter attack, but we didn't defend that very well, but we've got to get it out quicker. We've got to create a few more chances. Only 10 minutes in, 1 0 down, it's still time, but come on. Who knows? Every scout, bro, mate. Come on, Bella. Oh, what a save. Blooming out, we are playing rubbish. We're giving the ball away every chance we get. Oh. Wolves should genuinely be about 3 0 up by now. Tomorrow is having a blooming awful go, isn't he? 32 minutes into the game, and this is not good. Last week we were smashing Tottenham, playing really well, and now probably one of the worst performances of the season. I don't think Watkins has touched the ball. Cameron, Kamara, and Louise again in the midfield have won absolutely nothing. And in general, I think Wolves should be two or three up by now. One positive is that they don't have a striker. And if they did, I think we'd be in big trouble. So it really, really needs to pick up. It's, we're not playing very well. So come on, Villa. No creativity going forward, and we just. Wolves play well, come on. Come on, see, look, look at the space, look at the space. No one's going to go to. Wolves just pass it around the back. Like this. Come on. Oh my God. Flipping hell, Villa. Oh dear. Oh. You can hear the crowd reactions every single time we get the ball. 
This is poor, about to be half time. Still 1 0 down. Half time. Booze around the stadium. Jeez. Half time. 1 0 down. You can hear the tox toxicity around Villa Park, and it's really not good enough, to be fair. We just went from smashing Tottenham and playing really well to you know, playing like this against Wolves. Genuinely, Wolves had a striker at every 3 or 4 0 up, I think. I think in the midfield, Louise and Kamara getting absolutely run rings round by um, Neves and Matinho. I think Watkins has barely touched the ball, and when he has, he's done nothing. Bailey has lost the ball every time he's got it. And in general, not one thing has really gone right tonight. Matty Cash having a poor game. So is Ashley Young and Digne. And yeah, I think uh, things need to change at half time. I think Wolves have played pretty well. They've moved the ball pretty swiftly, but they haven't created too many chances. And I think in the second half, we're really to make better. So come on, the Villa. Wolves fans have been quite good to be fair to them as well. Been very loud. We haven't since the first goal. So. Come on. Good atmosphere in the second half. He won the league in Spain. He went to Munich. He did the same again. Come on! It's been a bit more of an even second half. We really started well, but Wolves have grew into the game. They just come back in numbers and track back well. Wolves into the box. Oh! Massive shots for handball. The 75 minutes into the game, there's a goal in this game, I'm telling you. What about now? Tyrone Meigs, ball over the top. Danny Ings, 1 0. Danny Ings is better than Ollie Watkins. No, it's not hard, but it's 1 1. We've deserved it in this second half. Come on! Come on! Can we beat the first man? Can we beat the first man? Oh, we did it. Who would have thought? Not me. Leon Bailey has just missed an open goal. All right, we're here full time, 1-1 one, one in the end. I think it's probably a fair result. It's definitely a game of two halves, that game. First half, it was an awful game from Villa. I thought that Wolves definitely should have been two or three nil up, but they didn't take their chances. And in the second half, we came out fighting. I thought the first 20 minutes of the second half, we absolutely battered Wolves and we could have scored three or four, but they held on well. Ruben Nevers completely controlled the midfield. Kamara was awful today and he was one of our best players last week. Um, also going forward, Danny Ings came on and scored. Coutinho on the half time made a real difference to the game, but we just had no creativity today. I think 1-1 one, one is probably the fair result. Um, Wolves fans were pretty good in the first half and second half, the atmosphere from the Villa fans as well was class. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video, share this video around. Let's get some views. And uh, yeah, fair result. See you guys on Friday at Leeds. Come on the villa.